Hello ladies and gents. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add holes to the 3D models that you've created. So in this example, you can see I already have a rectangular prism and I created that by drawing a sketch and then adding an extrusion to that sketch. So now I've got this 3D prism. So I want to add some holes running through this 3D model. So how do I do that? Well, it's very simple. I'm going to use this tool here, the hole tool. You can see that at the top of the uh, screen in the um, tools menu bar. So before I can actually use that to create holes, I need to tell on shape where I'm going to add those holes. So to do that, click the sketch button and rather than choose one of the uh, planes to sketch on, we're going to choose one of the actual faces of the 3D material that we used. So as I move my mouse cursor over these faces, you can see they're highlighted in orange. So I'm going to use this face that's currently highlighted in orange. So click that once, and now I've added a new plane to that face that I can draw on. So if I just um, view that from the front, what I'm going to do now while this sketch is open is use this point tool to basically add a point to the 3D model. So click that tool and then click wherever you want the hole to go. So I'm gonna add it in the top section of this 3D model. So I'm just gonna to click to add a point and there you go. You can see the point's been added there. Click the green check mark to apply that. And now there we go, you can see the um, point that I've added. All I'm going to do now is use the hole tool by clicking it and now it's saying where do you want the hole to go so it says sketch points to place holes well I've already sketched um, the place where I want the hole to go so all I need to do now is select it and click it once and now if I just rotate slightly you can see I have a hole running through my material now let's just quickly take a look at the options panel towards the left hand side we can switch between inches and metric and we can also switch between a simple hole a counter bore or a counter sink so it looks like the hole's been drilled with different tools but I'm just going to keep it set to simple and then we've got the hole type clearance the size and um, the fastener fit but we're going to ignore those for now and right now the diameter of the drilled hole is 5.3 millimeters uh, sorry 5.3 centimeters so I can change that let's change it to um, 10 millimeters and press enter and you can see the hole has become larger and here we've got termination so that's where the hole ends so if I click this and choose blind it looks like it's been partially drilled if I change it to the other options up to next um, up to entity or just through all this just means it goes right through the material very simple and there we go so I've drilled a hole so to apply that, I can just click on the green check mark. And that's how you add holes to the 3D models that you've created. Now, what I'll do is I will create, if I just rotate around to the other side. So I'll look at it from the left. I'm going to sketch another plane. So there we go. So select the uh, sketch plane. So I'll choose the left hand side this time. And this time I'm going to draw two points. So I'm going to draw one here and one here. Then just finish that sketch. So this is sketch number three now by clicking the green check mark. And now use the hole tool again. And this time I'll click on the first dot and the second dot. And it's the same as before. I can have through all, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make these um, six millimeters in diameter each. And then when you're happy with that, click the green check mark. So now as I rotate around this now, you can see I've got one large hole in the top of the material and two holes here uh, at the bottom. And what I can do is if I just go to the uh, geometry manager at the side of the screen, what I can do is I can name each one of these holes. So on sketch two, that's our first hole that we created. I'm gonna double click that 
and I could go back in and edit the um, dimensions there, but I'm not going to. If you just go to where the name is, so right now it's called one centimeter through, and right next to the green check mark, if you just hover the mouse cursor over that, you can see that pencil appears. Click that pencil and give it a name. So I'm gonna call that hole one, and then click the green check mark. And then if I go down to sketch three, those are my two holes that I created. I can double click that, go next to the green check mark, click on the pencil and call these hole two. And this way I can keep track of the different parts. So there we go. I've got some holes running through the material. So again, very simple thing to do.